Welcome to PS3 Gamer Nation. This is PS3 Gamer Nation. For gamers, by gamers. You're viewing only PlayStation 3 games from disc to downloadable. I'm Sean McCoy, and today I'm going to be looking at Little Big Planet. Let's see how big this Little Big Planet is. Planet Earth. Or as the rest of the omniverse call it, the Orb of Dreams. The occupants of which spend so much time asleep and dreaming. Their vast imaginations humming away, charged with creative energy. Where does it all go? Up through a cerebral umbilical cord where it collects and melds with all the other dreamers' energy. And something wonderful happens. It forms a world an ethereal dreamscape of adventure and possibilities. An abstract plane of beautiful wonderment just waiting to be explored. And you can go there. Little Big Planet is a multiplayer online world that you can meet up with your friends or play the levels on your own. You control your sack boy and customize him to whatever you want. You can create your own levels and publish them to the game that allows others to play the game as well. Starting off with graphics, where do you start with this game? Your character is Sackboy, which can be customized with a wide variety of costumes that you collect during the normal gameplay, not to mention the available downloadable costumes from the PlayStation Network. Now back to the game. The game environments can be either the original levels or user-created levels. The majority of the user-created levels can be anything from lots of color to just a generic backdrop. Either way, the graphics in both the background and the animations of the sack boys are very well done. The graphics get 9 out of 10. Now looking at audio, as you start up this game, you are in the pod, where you can play the music from your hard drive as you decide which level to play. When you play the level you are on, the music is quite involving. It is a background music that you might expect from an arcade machine. Not that that's a bad thing, don't get me wrong. The other sound effects, such as collecting points, are also at home in an arcade environment. Overall, the audio found throughout this game creates a nice social, yet challenging vibe. The audio gets 9 out of 10. As for gameplay, the controls for the most part are very simple. The majority of the controls are the symbol controls circle, square, cross, and triangle. The only other main control is R1, which is used to grab onto objects. Other buttons, which include the use of the six-axis controller, are for making gestures with your sack boy. Now, as far as the game or levels go that you will be playing, they can range from intricate recreation of an adventure on the planet Hoth from the Star Wars universe, or a quick point craze leveling up level that is straightforward. For the most part the controls and play style from this game is smooth although I did get stuck in a some places that I really shouldn't have. For example my character was in a three-wheeled bike that I just could not get out of the vehicle no matter what I pressed. I wasn't a big fan of that, and needless to say, I was a little frustrated after a minute or so. Gameplay gets 7 out of 10. And now for multiplayer online. With such a huge amount of online content that is user created, it's not a surprise that Little Big Planet draws a boatload of gamers to play these games online. You can choose to play these online levels either by yourself or with other players. Another cool feature is being able to follow someone else and just tag along to see what level they pick next and join in the fun. A nice feature about the user created levels is the rating system after you play the level. 
you can rank the level with stars, plus pick out a keyword that you think best describes that level. This might not sound like a big deal, but it's very useful for flipping through all the different levels. I am a little surprised every now and again by a little bit of lag when playing alongside another game or during a level, since it's pretty rare. For the majority of the time, it is very smooth. But you may find yourself waiting a bit when you're loading up a level to be able to sync up with the rest of your party. Multiplayer Online gets 10 out of 10. Now looking at replay value, during the normal story mode, you'll find all of the polished graphics, audio, and linear expected movements throughout the level. Each of the levels unveils another part of the whole bizarre plotline. I can't say that I was really compelled to find out anything more about the plotline. I was more confused on how it made any sense. With that in mind, I can see that it is aimed at a younger audience and the majority of the time I played the, the created levels. One thing to do if you end up buying this game is to try and make your own level. There is a really good learning tutorial, but it does take a fairly long time to complete. It's best going through the tutorial without an idea of what you want to create, since you have to use all the tools in a particular linear order until you get to move on to the next step. By doing this, like so many other people have done already, you will build the user created library that really makes this game. Replay value gets 10 out of 10. Little Big Planet is a game intended for kids and families. If you have a family and are looking for a nice family friendly game that can entertain them for hours on end and even play a little yourself, then this game is for you. This really is a must buy for children under 14, but not just limited to that, which is why it is rated E for everyone. Final score is 9 out of 10. Thanks for checking out our podcast. There's now audio and video podcasts available at ps3gamernation.com. Be sure to email us at ps3gamernation at gmail.com for questions or comments. You can go to the forum through our website or directly at ps3gamernation.net. Because in the end, it's for gamers by gamers. This is PS3 Gamer Nation.